Meet Holly, an active 11 year old looking forward to the long, warm days ahead. She can't wait to take a break from her school books and enjoy summer activities. For Holly's mom, Kim Priestman, summer used to bring challenges. Holly has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, known as ADHD, and Kim is already preparing for her daughter's transition from the structured routine of school to summer activities like pool parties and sports. We did have trouble a couple of summers because with Holly having ADHD, she doesn't have the patience to stand in line for things, so there were certain activities we didn't want to do. Before we had the structure in place, we couldn't make long range plans. We couldn't go to a movie. We couldn't go to a play. It was frustrating. Those who work with children have developed strategies to help families manage the transition from school to summer, as this can be a challenge for all parents, not only those who have children with ADHD. Dr. Kenneth Handelman is a child and adolescent psychiatrist. It's really important to plan ahead for the summer. It's great if you can get your son or daughter involved in creating the structure, have them give their input, and then if you can create a schedule or a routine that's more the summer routine, post it on the wall that'll help your child to adhere to it. Many children with ADHD struggle with social interactions and friendships. I like to encourage parents to promote that during the summertime. That can be through structured activities, like day camps or team sports, or through unstructured activities, things like get-togethers with cousins and friends. ADHD is a challenging year-round condition not a seasonal problem that occurs only during the school year. Some doctors suggest that you avoid taking a drug holiday during the summer. Parents should speak to their doctors about their options. For Holly and her mom, getting an early start on summer has made a huge difference. Now that we've got things under control with Holly's ADHD, like this year we're planning a trip out east, and a couple of years ago, that's not something I would have done. Families should know there are a variety of strategies to help them with this transition. The first suggestion, talk to your doctor. The second suggestion, the website ADHD.ca. The summer's a great opportunity for parents to bond with their child who has ADHD. Parents should make the time to have a lot of fun during the summer. As our understanding of ADHD grows, so does our range of options for dealing with the condition. And that's paying off for Holly, who's looking ahead to a very happy summer. Martin Vanderwood reporting.